I live streamed a crazy 31,000 Call of Duty points. Yeah, that is a lot considering that just 13,000 is 100 bucks. You know what? You could have bought with that money, Ali. You could have probably afforded like 50 ice creams the whole game like three times. Or better, to go and watch England's match of the Euros. With ridiculous, ridiculous results. I would bloody hope so. I got tons of new weapons. Like, I mean tons of new weapons. And this is just one of them for you guys today. The MX Grand. I've got that too. And you know how much I've spent? Zero money. I mean, I am missing this one, this one, this one, and this one. I do have this one though. Let's jump into it and check it out. So today we're going to be trying out the MX Garant, which I was really lucky to get in a supply drop. Unfortunately, I do not have any footage or live reaction when I got that, but I do have a photo which I took with my phone. I'm rocking the reflex optics and the attachments are the quick draw and the grip. Haven't unlocked all the attachments for this gun yet, but I think the extended mag and the rapid fire would be really, really handy on it. And yeah, with that said, let's get right into a match. Okay, here we go. The match has just started. I think this is a good position to start off with. Unfortunately, there's someone else who is actually taking our spot, damn it. As you may know or may not know, uh, this is a medium to long range uh, assault rifle. So you want to you wanna keep your distances. I, think, I, th I feel someone's going to come in here. There we go. That's our first kill. There's, there's, we're going to get our second. No, no, we get killed right there. Combine is probably one of my favorite choices for this to use with this gun. There we go. Popping off the headshot right there. Um, because it's got some long range, long long range like in this occasion, some long range shots which are perfect for this gun. There we go, there we go, there we go, popping off another shot. As you see there, I had one shot left and I had to use it to might be able to reload. So if you think, uh, for example, like I'm wasting shots or anything, it's not that. It's that this gun needs to, you know, run out of bullets to be able to reload. Come on, come on, come on, you want to come out, there we go, just pop him off, you just need two shots, two shots on your target and he's down, I think at any range, there we go, just needed one there, because he probably had already taken some damage, let's see if we can get more, there's another one, oh, using the war machine, you can't stop that, can you, there we go, someone by the back, a bit of filthy, but we get that shot, we'll take, we'll take any kill. Oh wow, nice kill right there. Ah, oh, but it's good for hip firing as well if you get someone real close. You don't have to have to hit him two times if he's not already been shot. You just have to hit him two times and he's down. For some reason, the other match finished really, really quickly. So we're gonna start a new one right here. Luckily, we're on combine again. There we go. We pop off our first kill. There we go. You have to wait for someone to go by. There we go. Going back to the attachments I was talking about earlier, I think the uh, rapid fire would be useful. Although, don't quote me too much, but I think it would be really good. I mean, if you can get loads of shots with this gun, it would be incredible because it has so much high damage. And also, the extended mag would probably be really useful because, as you can see, it doesn't have that many bullets. But it could... Wow. Wow. You have to be quick uh, uh, clicking that trigger. I wouldn't recommend going around just hip firing and looking for people up close, but if if it happens, like you know, you know, it can happen in some occasions, like there, which I wasn't very precise. But earlier, as you saw, it's really it's really effective because, as I said, it does kill really rapidly. The closest you can get that resembles a bit this gun that everybody can have in this game, I think, is probably the Shiva. There we go, another another kill. What I also love, wow, wow. What I also love about this is that. It's kind of old school as you, the look of it. It's I mean it's not that important the look, but it, it has its part in a gun. And I think the sound it makes and also the look as well. It's it's really really original and I really enjoy it. There aren't that many cons to it. I think it's quite a remarkable gun to be honest. I've had some really good games with it, and I'm sure that if you're probably better than me, a card, you you will have a dream. You just have to really adapt a bit to the style of it. If you're lucky enough to find it like me in a supply job, I definitely recommend to go and try it out for yourself to see what you think. To sum it up, I think it's a really really good assault rifle. Don't go in expecting too much. I mean, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 in general, they've done a really good job to try and balance all the weapons. But I absolutely love it. I think it's one of the best you can get from uh, the supply drop. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video i apologize if it's not too long but i wanted to make it that way so that you guys could get a quick review of it and summon up all the most important points and everything you need to know about it kind of quickly the gameplay was probably not the best that's probably why ali can afford to spend all that money because he's much better than me let me know in the comments down below what you think about this if you've tried it out and also some other suggestions uh, that i could use to make in these videos and also if you want me to try out and make uh, some other videos on other weapons that i find in supply drop 
drops. And yeah, guys, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Matt Eleven Gaming, please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. I'm out. Bye.